Wow, I always thought of blue-eyed blondes as perfect. And it turns out their eyes are blue because they have a defective gene? That's true, Chaucer. You'll notice my eyes are definitely not blue. Another example is hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is an important red blood cell protein made from 574 amino acids that deliver oxygen to the tissues and carries carbon dioxide to the lungs for removal. In the lungs, oxygen binds to the iron atoms inside the hemoglobin molecule and any attached carbon dioxide is released. In the tissues, the molecules of oxygen are released and more carbon dioxide is picked up. But if the hemoglobin protein is misshapen, it can distort the shape of the entire red blood cell to which it belongs. This, in turn, can destroy the ability of the blood cell to deliver oxygen throughout the body. Remember that shape is everything to a protein. Somewhere on chromosome 7, there is a gene that has 6,129 active letters in it. This gene strings together 1,480 amino acids into a protein whose function is to allow salt to penetrate various membranes in the body. Little Susan has a tiny error in that gene in her seventh chromosome. Three letters are missing, and that causes the protein that Susan's genes manufacture to be ever so slightly misshapen. And although the difference in the shape is tiny, the consequences are huge. This particular protein does its work in the linings of the lungs. By inserting itself into the plasma membrane, the protein makes a passageway for the salts to enter and leave the cells. But if the protein is not exactly the right shape, then it cannot transport the plasma membrane and therefore cannot do its job. Then salt gets trapped inside the cell, and that causes the cell surface to become sticky and covered with thick mucus. This results in wheezing, breathlessness, and the persistent cough to expel troublesome mucus. This is cystic fibrosis, and it is the result of just three missing letters on chromosome 7. Perhaps even more tragic is Tay-Sachs disease. Tay-Sachs begins at one infinitesimal spot on the DNA ladder when just one letter goes wrong. This mistake comes down to just four atoms. That's it. But the error in that gene creates a problem in this protein, which is supposed to dissolve fatty materials in the brain. But now the protein doesn't work. So fat builds up, swells the brain, and eventually strangles and crushes the critical brain cells. Infants with Tay-Sachs disease appear to develop normally for the first few months of life. Then, as nerve cells become distended with fatty materials, a relentless deterioration of mental and physical abilities occur. The child becomes blind, deaf, and unable to swallow muscles begin to atrophy and paralysis sets in. Hard to imagine that just four wrong atoms change just one letter out of three billion. And this is the result. When genetic diseases run through families, then we know the mutations in the genes that cause these diseases are being inherited. Here is an example. In a normal gene, this is the sequence, ending. G, T, A, G, C, A, G, T. But sometimes the gene is missing two of the letters. This new configuration is a mutation that can often lead to breast cancer and it is passed from generation to generation, 
causing the potential for disease to be passed down as well. The U.S. government maintains a website with much of the current information about genes, chromosomes, and proteins. In the section labeled Chromosome Viewer, you can select a chromosome and see how many base pairs or letters are on the chromosome. When you get to the web page for each particular chromosome, you can see a list of traits and disorders associated with genes on that chromosome. Let's enlarge chromosome 7 that we talked about earlier. As you can see, the gene that causes cystic fibrosis is here. On other pages, you can see genetic disease profiles. Here is the cystic fibrosis profile. You can even examine specifics about some genes. Again, this page details genes associated with cystic fibrosis. How can we fix genes that are broken? Gene therapy is a new and promising technology. Consider a disease like SCID, which is an autoimmune disease caused by a single gene mutation, which prevents the body from producing normal disease-fighting cells. These patients have no natural defense and often spend their lives in an isolation bubble to prevent contact with other people. Since bone marrow is the place where cells are made, which normally defend the body, bone marrow is drawn from the patient, and a normal gene is inserted into the patient's DNA, either replacing the faulty gene or coexisting with it. Then these repaired marrow cells are placed back into the patient's body, where they begin to multiply and produce normal disease-fighting cells.